G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today we're gonna get spooky and carve a Halloween pumpkin. I say that as if I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is the <laughs> this is gonna be my first attempt at ever creating a Halloween pumpkin carving. But I've seen other people do it and I've seen what they look like and, and ones that I think look cool. So I'm gonna try and go for something that looks kind of spooky, but not too spooky. Spooky enough to, to be like, ooh, that's spooky, but not like genuinely scared because kids enjoy Halloween. You don't want to scare kids. And you also don't want your YouTube videos to get demonetized due to uh, the, the intensity of the spook factor. So we're gonna make this spooky, but not too spooky. To help set a reasonably spooky tone, I'm gonna uh, decorate my table with some spooky, but not too spooky things. As you can see, I already have these little Halloween pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lanterns and uh, they're pretty spooky, but not too spooky. I have here a uh, special edition Diablo 3 uh, little head skull thing with a USB drive containing Diablo 1 and 2, the computer games, which are pretty spooky. Plus the skull thing looks pretty spooky. And it doesn't contain Diablo 3, which isn't spooky at all. I also have a copy of uh, Microsoft Windows Vista Home Premium. Pretty spooky. I have a book of pugs in costumes. Ooh, BL's a pug. Very spooky, well not very spooky. Ah, perfect. Count Pugula. Spooky, but not really that spooky. Standing next to uh, Cinco de Pugo, that's, that's fun. We have the 25 year anniversary edition of the Wiggles box set. Uh, that's pretty spooky. Hippopotamus. You wouldn't think they're spooky, but they're very territorial. You can tell I've been uh, through my toddler's <laughs> collection of things. Ooh, I know it's not Christmas, but this thing, this thing is really spooky. Check this out, you ready? But if that wasn't enough, as you can tell, I am in a green screen room, which means that I can make this whole set as spooky as I like. You thought that thing was spooky before, check this out. I think that's enough of this stuff. The spooky tone has been established. We can move on. I know what you're thinking. Time to move on to the pumpkin. No, it's costume time. <coughs> How am I looking? Spooky? Why did I make you gag? Why did, the, what is with this? Ugh. Fine, I'll carve a damn pumpkin. I'm gonna keep these though, cause safety is key. Okay, I have here a box of tools. Again, I have never carved a pumpkin before and uh, I just have a bunch of random things here, including a children's pumpkin carving set, which I think will be incredibly inefficient at pumpkin carving, but I got it anyway. Some extremely sharp chef's knives. We might as well risk our lives in the process. Clay sculpture tools, because <laughs> this, is, this is all I had. Oh, and we have, uh, we have measurement scoops to scoop out the, the guts of the pumpkin. Do pumpkins have guts? I don't know, I've never done this before. I've dilly-dallied enough and I've tortured you with my procrastination. It's time to open this thing up and try and make a face. I really like these gloves, they're really fun. Is this how you start it off? I'm just peeling it like a sweet potato. I look forward to hearing all the uh, Americans telling me what I'm doing wrong. Would this be easier with just the knife? Uh, no, still really awkward. Man, it looks so much easier on the movies. Now I know the, the thing that most people do is they, they cut face shapes directly into the thing after they gut the pumpkin, but I wanna actually try and make like a three dimensional sculpt thing. I will cut holes in it and stuff, but I just wanted to peel the surface first. It's quite the workout. Ah, oh, that sort of worked. This is sort of ready for some face art. It's in this part of the video I'd like to introduce a segment called Retrospective Tips. Potato peelers suck at peeling pumpkins. All right, let's try and do this lid and gut thing. Ah, wait, wait, I have this thing from my local supermarket. Oh my goodness, this actually works. Whoa! Oh, it's breaking. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, it worked, man. This is the best $2 I ever spent. All right, this is the bit where we get gutsy. Ooh. Let's use this thing. 
Retrospective tip number two, bring like a towel or something to wipe up. <laughs> Cause I didn't do that. I'll be back in a second. <sighs> tip number two, don't forget to bring a towel. So now comes a bit where I attempt to actually carve a face on this thing. So I'm gonna cut some holes in for eyes and the mouth, but I also wanna really sort of make a three dimensional looking sculpted face. So I don't know how that'll go, but I'm looking forward to trying for my first time. Wish me luck. Broke the tip off my clay sculpture tool thing. Retrospective tip number three. Clay sculpture tools don't work great for pumpkins. <laughs> So I've roughed in the main holes and the face shape and I've, I've sort of like gouged in some of the lines. So now I want to make this much more three dimensional. Uh, I'm going to try the, the metal ends of my clay sculpture tools and some of my smaller knives and, uh, and I'm just going to try and slowly bring this out and make it pop out a bit. All right, as you can see, the face is taking shape. The, uh, the bottom teeth are very precarious at the moment, so I'm trying to just not put any pressure on them, otherwise they'll fall out. Otherwise, I have discovered our fourth retrospective tip of the day, and that is, if you're using this clay sculpture metal thingy, it works way better if you're light-handed. <laughs> just gently, like, hold it like a pencil. You can actually get nice, clean definition, and uh, it's just way more accurate and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, using this thing nice and light and easy and uh, slowly but surely build up the layers of detail until hopefully I have something that looks nice and cool and three dimensional. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am finished and at a place where I think I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, I like that he looks fairly spooky, but not too spooky. In fact, if anything, he looks sort of more socially awkward <laughs> than spooky. <laughs> I like him though. I don't know. How did, how did I go? Leave, leave me your feedback in the comments and uh, tell me how my first ever Halloween pumpkin turned out. Retrospective tip number five remember to bring some sort of light thing to put in there, because I didn't. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. I'm going to call him Jack after Jack O'Lantern. And this is Jack the socially awkward pumpkin. His facial expression reminds me of someone who got caught out doing something. Jack, where have you been? Oh, I just, uh, I just was out at the pub. I'm sorry I got back late. It won't happen again, Martha. I think that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, just make sure to clean up your mess after. And if you're a little tyke, remember to have the help of a parent or guardian because knives can be dangerous. And if you're cutting a pumpkin, make sure to cut away from you because if you cut towards you, it can cause some serious Ah, damn it! Cut my own head off. What are you looking at? No wonder he looks awkward. This is awkward and not just the special effects. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed the result of my pumpkin carving challenge. Got uh, Jack over there. J Jack the awkward Jacko lantern. And, uh, and make sure to leave a comment if you have any suggestions for how I should maybe 
uh, do things better in the future and maybe uh, what I should do next year. Uh, otherwise, make sure to subscribe to Draw With Jazza and I'll try and sort myself out uh, so I can do another video for you. Wish me luck. Ugh. Man, I've got an itch. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.